How to set up Surfshark OpenVPN DDWRT router. DDWRT is a custom firmware that can be installed on your router. In this guide you will find out how to set up OpenVPN protocol which is supported by DDWRT to connect to Surfshark. You can check if your router supports DDWRT firmware here. If it does, please follow this article to safely install DDWRT on your router. Please note, that Surfshark is not to be held responsible for any damage done to the router or void of warranty that could be caused by flashing your router. This guide has been made using this configuration, firmware, DDWRT v3.0 R35667 STD, April 4, 18, hardware, Netgear Nighthawk AC1900 model R7001. In the DDWRT control panel open the setup tab, scroll down to the network address server settings, DHCP, and enter the following information, static DNS 1 equals 10.8.8.1 static DNS 2 equals 10.8.8.2 static DNS 3 equals 10.8.8.3 use DNS mask for DHCP equals check use DNS mask for DNS equals check DHCP authoritative equals check then click save and apply settings 2 click on the service tab and then select VPN then under the open VPN client click the enable option enter the following information server IP slash name for this tutorial we selected a server in the US, however you should connect to the server that is best suited for you. To get the name of the server, please navigate to the following link, colon slash slash goo.gl slash w5v245. Port, 1194, tunnel device, ton, tunnel protocol, UDP, encryption cipher, none, hash algorithm, SHA-512, user pass authentication, enable, username, your Surfshark service username, password, your Surfshark service password. You will find the Surfshark service credentials at the second step on the following page, https colon slash slash goo.gl slash qni2re. Note, if there is no username and password fields, please enter the remaining fields and proceed to the 3.1 step. Advanced options equals enable, this will enable additional options, TLS cipher, none, LZO compression, disabled, NAT, enable, other fields that are not mentioned in this guide should be kept unchanged. 3.1 optional, depending on step 3. If you do have any fields to enter your credentials, please advance to administration commands, and enter this commons, echo username password slash tmp slash open slash user dot conf slash usr slash ben slash kilal open slash usr slash spin slash open config slash tmp slash open slash open dot conf root up slash tmp slash open slash root up dot sh down pre slash tmp slash open slash root down dot sh daemon please make sure to replace username and password with your surfshark service credentials that can be found in the second step of the following page https colon slash slash goo dot gl slash qni2 re Click Save Startup, and return to the previous VPN tab. 4. In additional config field enter these commands, remote cert TLS server remote random no bind ton MTU 1500 ton MTU extra 32 misfix 1450 persist key persist ton ping timer rem reneg SEC 0 cipher AES 256 GCM auth SHA 512 log slash TMP slash VPN dot log. 5. You will find the CA certificates and TLS auth keys in the dot open. Files that you download from the setup page here, https colon slash slash goo dot gl slash cdqe 7 u 6. Open the given configuration file with a text editor, e.g. wordpad or notepad++, as notepad does not support the same formatting. 7. Copy the text after the CA tag to the CA cert field. Make sure to copy the begin certificate and end certificate lines as well 8. Then, copy the text after the TLS auth tag to the TLS auth key field. Also, Copy the begin open VPN static key v1 dash 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 and end open VPN static key v1 dash 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 lines. 9. Make sure you have entered everything correctly and then click save and apply settings. 10. To check if the VPN client is working correctly, navigate to status open VPN tab in the main menu. Under state, you should see the following message, client, connected success.